I am a big fan of books. I, I know it sounds old fashioned, but I read a lot of books. I read a lot of fiction books and a lot of books lately about the internet and its social implications. Um, I like to use library thing to keep track of my books and it helps me look back at what I've read. So when I'm talking to somebody and I say, oh wait, I read a book about that and it said, oh wait, I can't remember the name or anything. Uh, this is a, a great way to get organized. So I've created an account here at Library Thing called Lisa History, which is sort of my screen name. And you can see on the home page, there's a lot of stuff. There's news and things from Library Thing, and there's blogs, and there's featured authors, and there's recent recommendations. Uh, these are the books I've actually added recently. And I spend most of my time in the Your Book section because it creates a list of the books that I'm reading or the books that I bought or the books that I like. And it lets me keep notes on those books. So sometimes I copy information from uh, Amazon or somewhere about the book so that I remember kind of what the overview was. And then I also can have a column here called review where I can actually put my comments on the book as well in addition to rating them. And you can add uh, columns or you can set it to show particular columns. So right now I'm going to add a book I'm just starting to read called The Paradox of Choice. And when you add books, it's a little bit awkward. The interface is not fantastic, but it's okay. So if I'm doing Paradox of Choice, what it's doing is it's searching through Overcat, a bunch of catalogs combined together to find the actual book itself. And so you can pick kind of which one, which edition you're reading, um, what the cover looks like, however you want. You can even change the cover art later. Then it adds it, and then I can edit. Now I haven't read this book yet, so I'm going to add it to my collection. I'm just starting it, so it's currently reading. Here's where I could write in the review. I could use tags if I want to. I can change publication information. I, I just never do that. I can do comments instead of review if I wanted to do that. It puts in a summary for me, but this is what I usually replace with a summary from Amazon or somewhere else to remind me of the book. And then I just save it. That adds it to my library. So that when I go to your books, I can see that I have added this book and when I'm ready I can double click here and do a review. I often tag these books um, internet. This one is, is related to the internet as well. So are the last couple I've added before a uh, fiction book that I added. What makes this social uh, is a couple of things. Uh, one thing you can do is there are groups that you can join of people reading particular types of books and you can see some of those genres here in the tags. Um, so there is a community here that's built around books that you can use. The other thing that's possible to do as well is to be able to pull lists and things um, out of library thing and be able to add it to uh, somewhere else. So. For example, on my blog, I have a page called Library. And on that page, I have embedded a widget, they call it, from Library Thing. And as you can see here, it shows the current books that I'm reading. And you can tell it how many to, to show. And it even shows my review and my rating for these books as well. So that's handy for people to share what they're reading with each other on their blog. Overall though, I think what's most useful with library thing is just to keep myself organized so that I know what I'm reading and uh, what, I, what I thought about what I read. So that's why I like it.